Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, I was just in the fucking hour here on the offer. Hey, I'm saying, hi. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that's been part of my life for many years. Riding sport bikes. You see, I've always been a thrill seeker and a lover of speed. But something happened that completely changed the way I approach riding today. A few years ago, I had to undergo back surgery. It was necessary to improve my overall health. But little did I know how much it would affect my passion for riding a sport bike. You see, the seating position on the sport bike, which is aggressive, became very painful for me in post-surgery. It's funny how something that you once loved can quickly become something that's challenging. My first surgery almost took that away from me, but I told the doctors then that I was not going to yield to not riding a motorcycle any longer. But here's the thing. I refuse to let it stop me. While I might not fully be able to enjoy my sport, sport bike anymore, there's still one motorcycle that I still have pleasure of riding, and that's my Harley Davidson. The upright seating position on the Harley is a game changer for me. It allows me to embrace the open road without any unbearable pain, not too much pain. Riding the sport bike is painful. Riding the Harley is just pain. So a little bit different. You see, I, I've been riding all my life. I don't want to give it up. Don't get me wrong, riding a Harley Davidson provides a, an incredible sense of freedom and I'm grateful for it. But that doesn't mean that I have to give up my sport bike dream. No, not at all. I refuse to. So what have I been doing to get back on that sport bike? More on how I'm doing it after the break. Well, welcome back. Thanks for watching the break. I kind of throw the breaks in there to kind of give the new audience an idea of uh, who I am, what, uh, what, what I've done, what I've accomplished in my life, what I like doing, uh, what I've always done. Now, to my post back surgery fitness journey. It's been a, a wild roller coaster, I'll be honest. Filled with challenges and changes. And I'm here to share my experience and how I'm working towards getting better each day. Since my back surgery, I faced many challenges when it comes to exercising. Activities like crunches, lifting weights, bench presses, it's been quite daunting due to the temporary pain that follows. However, I'm fully aware that this pain is just a phase. A stepping stone on my journey to a, a, a pain-free and healthier life. Each repetition that I complete is a testament to my determination to overcome these hurdles. Maintaining my cardiovascular fitness has been a priority to me. While I used to be an avid runner, the recent development of plantar fasciitis in my right foot has made running a real challenge. This condition is common among runners and it's required me to shift my focus. I started using the indoor bicycling instead of the treadmill which allows me to continue my weight loss journey without putting unnecessary strain on my foot. Running has been a significant part of my life, but I've had to tone it down due to the plant plantar fasciitis. It's important to remember life throws curveballs at us. Embracing change doesn't mean giving up. It means finding new ways to stay active and pursue our goals. As I continue on this journey, I remind myself that the discomfort that I'm feeling now will eventually fade away. 
It's a temporary phase, a chapter that's leading me towards a stronger, healthier version of myself. With each day of exercise, each visit to my chiropractor, I'm one step closer to my goal. Patience and persistence have been my guiding principles throughout this whole process. It's crucial to acknowledge that recovery is a marathon, not a sprint. I guess it's time to see where I'm at. Seven months ago, I was going through a lot of pain trying to get back on my bike. It wasn't happening seven months ago. So now, let's go see what I'm going through seven months later after exercising, working out, and staying committed to my well-being. All right, guys, this is my 1985 Honda VF1000R. This was the first sport bike that was introduced to the United States. The previous model, Interceptors, came out in, I believe it was 1984, but that was more of a sport touring. Still, uh, the bike was a evolution of uh, the old uh, uh, CB uh, Hondas. Let's take a look. Actually, I couldn't do that before. Okay, sitting sitting on it is not that bad. Uh, but the moment of truth, getting my legs uh, up on the uh, pegs. One, ah, still a little struggle on that right side, but I'm actually able to get the legs on there now. The thing is, is I gotta be able to shift and uh, I use the rear brake, which you don't really use the rear brake that much. Before we move on, a quick word from our sponsor, Lathrop Chiropractic. Let me add a quick disclaimer. I'm not getting paid or am I receiving any product from Lathrop Chiropractic other than what I'm paying out of my pocket. What I can tell you is that when I walk into that office and go through a complete session and walk out of that office, I am a new man every time that happens. So... I believe in their product, which is why I'm airing it. Now, a quick message from our sponsor. Dr. Serafin bases all of his treatment on you, keeping in mind current research and his 13 plus years of experience. Ease your pain the natural way, without drugs or surgery. Call Lathrop Chiropractic today at 209-858-1029 to see how Dr. Serafin can help you. I want to give a huge shout out to Lathrop Chiropractor for Dr. Serafin's unwaving and exceptional care. His dedication to my recovery is truly remarkable, and I'm grateful for his expertise and personalized approach. Uh, he's helping me with the adjusting my back, and of course, uh, helping me with the stretching exercises and electrical stimulation. Instead of physical therapy, my chiropractor provides a unique approach that combines physical therapy exercises with more intense focus followed by electrical stimulation. This personalized approach has been a game changer for me. Not only have I been getting the physical therapy that my body uh, needs, but the added intensity of electrical stimulation has been helping me push through the temporary pain and build strength faster. Now, I won't lie, there are days when the pain really gets to me, but I've learned to stay focused on my long-term goals a pain-free, active lifestyle. I just remind myself that this temporary pain discomfort is a small price to pay for the intense benefits I'll reap in the future by getting back on my sport bike. Now, if you're watching this and you're also de dealing with post-surgery pain, I want to share a few tips that has helped me stay on track. One, set realistic goals. It's important to set achievable goals and celebrate the small victories along the way. Two, listen to your body. Pushing yourself is always great, but listen to your body. Rest when needed and don't overdo it. Three, stay consistent. Being consistent is the key to progress. Stick to your exercise routine and treatment plan, even on tough days. And four, positive mindset. A positive attitude can make a world of difference. Focus on the improvements that you're making rather than the temporary discomfort. So there you have it. My journey of pushing through post-back surgery and working towards a stronger and pain-free life. And where do I get my inspiration from? A man called Joey Dunlop. 
Joey Dunlop was the world's best road racer on the Isle of Man TT. Look it up on the internet to get an idea of what the Isle of Man TT. Most of you probably already know. Uh, it's a motorcycle race over in Ireland. Joey had 26 wins in his career. So far, he's held that record. Prior to that, he had a major accident where he busted up his pelvis and crutches for quite some time. Kind of similar to uh, what I went through when I first had my accident. But that didn't stop him. Three years later, he went to win two more championships in the same week. Unfortunately, died in a major crash. He was 47, 40, 48 years old. That man kept going, even at that age. He didn't let anything stop him. And he was one of the greatest at it. My hat's off to you, Joey. Long live Joey Dunlop. Now, if you found this video inspiring, or if you're going through a similar journey, don't forget to hit the like button and share any comments if you like. And the next video, which is going to be coming out not too long after this one, it's going to be the actual supercharger install. I think we all got robbed when I found out that the bracket that I had, unfortunately, was the incorrect one. But guess what? I'm just going to make a video just on receiving the new bracket, installing the supercharger, and get back what we all got robbed of. As always, thank you for joining me today. Stay strong, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you, Joey, for the inspiration you give us to push on. Judging by your smile and laughter, you were the happiest when you were road racing. That's a feeling that others won't understand, but it's something that you feel inside, and your determination has proved to us all that you can go after what you want. Thank you, Joey. Rest in peace.